Hi crafters! So today we are going to make this super cute card but the main focus of today is going to be how to use the new We Are Memory Keepers Sew Ribbon. So they have several of these. These are the two that I have um, in stock at Stampin' Mania and so I thought I would do a card that utilized this so that I could show you guys how to use it. So what it does is basically gives you different ribbon designs instead of just the straight put your ribbon across like we do a lot on cards. We're making this red and black one today but here's just a couple of examples. This is the purple one. It's the shape is called flower and so it did these crisscrosses. It looks really cute if you're using it on a scrapbook page with the leaf shape. Um, so that's one of them. And then this one, the ribbon's a little hard to see because it's sheer. I used a sheer ribbon on that. But on this card I have it going across the bottom. So these were just a couple of examples of um, how to use the sew ribbon. So let's get started with this. Some of the things I've pre-prepped to uh, save time. So first, the first thing we're going to do, I have my card base. I cut it at four and a quarter by 11. So it's down the middle of an eight and a half by 11. Um, I really have been into cutting my cards that direction lately. And then this is designer paper from the Jenny Bolin Red and Black Collection. Um, that I'm using. I thought that looked really valentiney. So the first thing we're going to do, oh, and this is cut at uh, five and a quarter by four. So with the sew ribbon, they're magnets and they stick together. So you can do this on, um, put it anywhere. Let's say I wanted my ribbon to go in the middle. I could line it up and do it in the middle so I can put this paper anywhere I want um, in order to make the the design. Each one comes with a special little punch gizmo and they're color coordinated because obviously the purple one will not poke into the shape for the for this one. So here's my purple one that matches the other one. So, um, very, oh, well, I'll tell you about the ribbon threaders uh, when we get to that part. So I want to put the paper in here. And I have it going about. And it's really easy too because you can slide it and line it up really easy. And I know that when I did mine. So I have on my card, I have little hearts in here, but I basically have four sets. One, two, three, four. Because it takes two pokes, if you will, to make one of the little shapes. And so mine holds four, so I have one, two, three, four. So the way that I kind of line it up is making sure that I have the same or close to the same amount of space from my beginning as the final one because this one I'm not going to punch. Okay so there's a thing but I won't punch in there because I need four and there's one, two, three, four. Okay so I have it lined up. Um, because it's magnetic you can also do it on um, a 12 by 12 scrapbook page and you just slide it down and you can keep it going continuously. Okay, so you just line it up and poke it in until you hear that little pop sound or little, you can feel it that it's gone in. Uh, sometimes you have to pull a little bit to get that out. I think these are so cool. I'm going to do one on a scrapbook page and show you. It definitely would take me too long to do it uh, live on a scrapbook page for me to poke all of the little holes. We all like ribbon. I'm sitting here shaking and shaking it. If I would just pull it up straight, 
it really actually comes out a lot easier. I'm just challenged. Okay, so I've poked my four sections. So you should be able to see them along the bottom. Hopefully the camera's picking that up okay. Each set also comes with three of these little plastic thingamabobbers. That's technical. And what they're for is your ribbon. Now I've used this one repeatedly over and over and over again. So they last a long time. And of course then when I got the purple one, so I have six of them, but it's sticky in there and you it holds your ribbon and that allows you to thread it in the ribbon a lot easier. So all you have to do is start from the back. And this little plastic just allows it to to go through those shapes very easily. It's really just like sewing. Well it is sewing. <laughs> That's why they called it sew ribbon. But you can see the shape of the the shape of the cuts that were made is what gives you that cute little arched look or that leafy look of that ribbon. I thought about having one of these totally pre-done, but I thought, no, I'm going to go ahead and do it all live because it is so easy. This particular ribbon, um, I like it with the wide ribbon really gives you a nice definition to the shape. And I've clearly cut more ribbon than I need, which is standard for me. And then the last one. Isn't that cute? I love that. So now all I'm going to do is cut it in the back and use some scotch tape because no one ever sees the back. This one's a little long. I could fold it over and all that, but I just cut it so um, it doesn't give me any extra bulkiness in the back. And I will tape that down. And then I'll just pull my ribbon off. Actually, I'll leave it on. So the next time I want to use it, I don't need it that long. I can easily find it. Okay. Love that. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the base of the card. Now, I normally have long strips, and so I don't have to use a bazillion pop-up, um, pop dot. Ah can't talk, I can't hold this. However, the ones that I have are really thick and I don't want this popped up an eighth of an inch. I only want it popped up the standard, it's normally one sixteenth of an inch is the thickness for most of the pop dots. So I um, have some extra. I always keep the edges when I finish some. Uh, these are Stampin' Ups dimensionals. And I like to keep the extra edges when I'm finished because then I can use them for things such as this. I don't like putting out... Actually, I don't mind using a million of them. I just hate how long it takes me to pull the backs off of all of them. And then when you're watching, you get tired of watching me pull backs off of all of them. So let's see here. Throw that sideways. I'm going to move all this a little closer to me because I think I keep getting out of the camera because I'm working closer to me. I guess I could have some music playing for you, but it won't be that long. It won't be that long. Ah, come on. And I can't always tell by looking if I've got them all or not. Feel them. All right, I think I got them all. Okay. Let's put this on here. I just love red and black. 
Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do is make the banner piece. And I am using uh, for the banner the it's uh, incredible by um, Allie Edwards from Technique Tuesday are the words, the sentiments that I'm using. And this strip is cut at four and a quarter. I need a new blade on my cutter. Uh, four and a quarter by one and an eighth inch thick. So let me... Oh, I want to cut this before I stamp it. Sometimes I stamp before I cut the little fishtail for the banner and then I don't have to leave myself enough room. So, um, just kind of cut, eyeball it. Since this is a narrow one, it's a little easier to eyeball. Up the middle and then from each edge and it should be relatively straight. Keyword relative. There. Okay. Now I'm going to stamp the word wonderful. I could do better, but it'll do for now. And then the UR. There we go. Now that's going to go on here like so. I'm also kind of into things hanging over the edge of cards right now. So now what I did for the hearts on here is I love these dies from Lawn Fawn. Um, we do have them in stock. These are great hearts. I didn't cut these all apart. You can cut them apart. Whenever I use this die, I just make a bunch of them so I have some. So since I was doing the red and black, I made like a bunch of red and black ones and some ivory colored ones. So now when I want to use them more in the next uh, Valentine's card or something, I have a bunch of them already cut. So that's what I normally do with the smaller ones like this is make a whole bunch of them at one time. And that saves me time uh, later on. So what I did was, let me get my little sticky picker upper. I think that's the biggest one. Yes. And then the cream colored. I actually have one, have it made, but I wanted to show you how I did it. So is it the right size. Yes. So what I did on these, because they have, um, hopefully the camera will pick them up, all that shimmer going on there. You know I love my bling and shimmer. So I used uh, my Wink Stella. Shake it up. I haven't used these for a little bit. My clear one, I've used it a ton, but it is almost out. They last quite a while. But I'm going to use, go ahead and use the black on the black one. Is that the right size? Let me double check. No. I'm going to say that one would feel just a tad too small. There it is. Okay. Oh, wrong one. So the Wink of Stella. This is the, um, whoa, I squeezed it. This is the glitter pen that's got like a paintbrush nib on it. It's not really a nib, but a paintbrush point. I love these. So I'm just going to go over this black one with the black. I went ahead and put a napkin down, a uh, paper towel, because I didn't want it all over my work surface. And let me find the lid. So I did the black one. And then the red and the ivory I just covered with the clear.
This is so easy and it dries pretty fast too. Now since I'm wanting to stick them to each other, I went ahead and did a set of these so that I didn't have to wait because the first time I did this, um, I didn't wait and I just tried to stick the uh, pop dots up and it caused a little bit of a mess. It didn't, well, it really wasn't a mess. It just, it didn't work and it was pulling off and so. But these are great. They come in a lot of colors, but what I use the most is the clear because you can put this across any, any color and it's, since it's clear, it's literally just going to give the sparkle to whatever. I've used it on just printing, uh, printing, uh, printed paper, like designer paper, when I've punched out a shape and just gone over it. I've used it over marker. I've used it over, um, I've even done some embossing with it. So these are just so cool. Hopefully you can see how they're shimmering. But for the sake of time, and I wanted to make sure it was dry, I went ahead and put one together. So you don't have to wait on me. I just used pop dots on them. I used uh, the 1 16th inch thickness for the black and the ivory, but for the red, I used the 1 8th inch, the thicker pop dot, because um, I'm going to pop up my banner, and that's going to give it extra thickness, so this piece laying off um, would need the support. Oh, here they are. I'll come here. I have like a trash can under where I'm sitting, but I need to get like a little thing that I can just easily, something that's small and short. I'm always just slinging these all over and they're all over the carpet. So I'm building a new house and going to have a new craft area. I can't wait. I'll have plenty of room for classes now. Um, so I can't decide. Do I want carpet or tile? I don't know, but the builder is going to want me to make up my mind relatively soon. I don't, I don't know. I've always had carpet, so if you guys um, have any thoughts on that one way or the other, I would love to hear from you. I think I put that on crooked, but that's okay. As to whether or not I should go carpet, tile, or wood floor, I guess. Um, then uh, add a little bling. I really like these Teresa Collins jewels. This is from the fabrication line and I love the blacks and the reds in here and so I'm just going to put three of these down on the banner. Oh, didn't even do that straight. Er, oh well, fix it later. Well, it's not too bad. Okay. Oh, and we need our little hearts. Um, I basically, I didn't put any glitter on here. I could have, but I didn't. I just left them plain. Or even uh, some glossy accents over them would be cute. And again, all I did was uh, layer them. Now, this one, the cream colored one, has the thicker 1 8 inch because it's going in between this ribbon that's going to hold it up. The black has just the 1 16th. The red, it was so small and I was having issues with trying to get pop dots to stay that I just used glossy accents and put it down with that. Or my tweezers to hold this for me. And then, I guess I didn't really need the tweezers. Stick that there. How cute is that? And of course we have to do the inside. And the inside I did, I used um, Lawn Fawn stamp set Be Mine. I think it's Be Mine. Yeah, Be Mine. And I have them already on my blocks. I'm going to scoot it over a little to the right because I've got a bee flying in. And kind of my little flight path of my bee. And get some black. How 
cute. Now I'm not going to take time to do the envelope, but I basically did the same thing. Ladies, don't send cards out with boring plain envelopes. Look how cute that is and so simple. Two little stamps, coordinates, matches, so always make your coordinating envelope. So there you have it. That's the card for today and hopefully you will check out the um, sew ribbon. I love these. I think they're going to be a ton of fun. You're going to see a lot of examples uh, from me on these and doing some larger pieces, some 12 by 12 scrapbook pages as well. Again, those are sew ribbon. Also, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you would click the little like button and also consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you around. You can follow us on Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter as well. And also, um, any of the products, well, anything um, that you order, if you use the um, coupon code JAN14, so that's J-A-N-1-4, you'll get 15% off your entire order. So go to stampinmania.com, use coupon code JAN14, and check out and try some of these new products. I think you're really going to love them. All right. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.